Now, I am going to explain you here in this one that how will you be able to find the slope of a line if two points will be given to you beta okay uh, we use the y2 minus y1 yes 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 that's great uh -huh. so first point you can consider as a uh -huh. and you can consider this one as x1 and this one y1 okay, okay. and also you can consider this point as b uh -huh. and also it will be x2 uh -huh. and it is y2 okay okay then if two points are given, okay? Okay. If two points are given, mm. given, then slope, slope M mm. equals to, you can either write there, uh -huh. Y2 minus Y1 upon x2 minus x1 or you can write there also beta uh -huh. y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 okay, okay. that's the same thing okay uh -huh. that's the same thing so we can apply any of the formula over here uh -huh. just to see that either we are doing right or not uh -huh. and then yes Plug in the value of y2, y2 that means 5 minus y1 that is 0 upon x2 that is minus 2 uh -huh. minus 4, okay? Uh -huh. So when you will do, then you will get that 5 upon minus 6. six. Or you can write that one also minus 5 by 6. Okay. So you are getting this graph, you are getting this slope, uh -huh. okay, with respect to whatever points that are given to you. Uh -huh. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. That's good. I am refreshing that uh -huh. so that we can see that what are given with respect to computerized here in this book. Yes, so these points were given to you. You can see here, regarding to this one, you can see that yes, you, these points you can mention on your graph uh, and then you can do that. Uh, the difference of x coordinate, uh, difference of x coordinate that is minus 2 minus 4, okay? Uh, that means you will get minus 6 uh, and the difference of y coordinate that is 5 minus 0 that is 5 okay? yeah. and slope that is y upon x that okay. is 5 by 6 that is your minus 5 by 6 that you get your gradient okay. you understand yes, sir. yes always if your graph if your gradient is negative okay as the line is pointing downwards okay yeah. that means your line will be downward there okay, okay? That means always remember if your graph, if your slope is negative, then that is your downhill okay. gradient, okay? Yes, sir. Understand? Yes. Next. Oh, yeah. Here you can see that what I explained that to you. So, if two points are given here, mm. you can assume that like x1, y1 and x2, y2. Mm. And then regarding to those two points, the gradient will be y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 or y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 uh -huh. okay okay yes so it is the best way suppose that two points you are seeing here 5 minus 7 and minus 3 is 0 okay uh -huh. so simply you have to assume that x1 y1 x2 y2 yeah. okay and plug in your values over there okay okay yes so minus 7 minus 0 upon 5 minus minus 3 so minus minus beta it will be plus uh -huh. okay so you can see that 5 plus 3 that will be 8 and mm -hmm. minus 7 minus 0 so that it will be minus 7 so uh -huh. either you are applying just see here wait yeah you can see here either you are applying your this formula uh -huh. okay first one you are also getting the same 
your slope like this, okay? Yeah. Minus 7 by 8. And if you are applying the second formula, then also you are getting the same. That yeah. means these two formula which you are seeing here, they both are correct. <coughs> Either any of formula that you can apply over there, okay? Yeah. Do you understand clearly? Yes, sir. Sir, 0 minus of minus 7 will be plus 7, right? 0 of <laughs> minus but a minus se 0 of minus 7 mm -hmm. that will be plus 7 yes, yes you are right wait wait you are right actually they didn't write one step after this step it will be just like as uh, wait I am writing this step here mm -hmm. it will be 0 plus 7 by on minus 8 minus 8 yes and then it will be better 7 upon minus 8 and then this will come minus 7 by 8, okay? Okay. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay.